Okay. So, hang on a minute. All right. So, uh, Saturday, um, the 17th of April, we came out here and we split these hives. We took, uh, we took some frames out of that one right there and we put in that blue one and we put in that white one that's got the sugar water on top and that hive right there we just took off because we had the two we had the two brood hives on on the one so a buddy of mine just called me and uh because he knew what we were doing and uh, he said that uh, it's supposed to be really cold out the next couple of days. So we might want to come put these hives back so the bees don't freeze. Because uh, we don't have very many bees in that hive and that hive up there. So we're going to try to make one big beehive again so they can share the heat and we won't lose any bees. I don't see anybody flying around. Uh, Caleb, take the lid off that blue one first. Is there any bees in there? Yeah, they're all congregated in one spot. Okay, so let's take the lid off of this top one right here. That's got the yeah take the sugar water off careful with that whoa careful oh you just piss them off okay so we're gonna take some so we're gonna take some frames out of this one so we want to take the frames out of that one, Caleb, that have bees on it. And we're going to put them in here. Okay. So then we'll put these back. Is there any bees on that one? Let's just put that one in here too. Apparently this stuff down here is supposed to be queen cells. Okay, so then I'll put this in here. Maybe. Trying to get oh stung my glove. Okay. Didn't get me though, just got my glove. Okay. Let's just put that lid back on for now. Let me get out here so I can film this and then Alright, so now what we're going to do is take the lid off of this one, Caleb. Both lids, yeah. Now we're going to take this frame right, or this box right here, put it on top before all the bees start climbing up there. They're pretty mellow right now because it's kind of chilly out. So they're all kind of congregating up top. Get your finger out of there. Okay, so now let's take the lid off of this one. And we're going to put that hive on top of it. Yeah.
Okay, they are getting agitated. I'm going to go ahead and put my bare hand in my pocket. Okay. So now take those bees and maybe we can shake them down into the hive. If we take this top part off. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. What the? Yeah, there's, it's in your hood. You got it right there. Got me right in the cheek. Oh, my God. How did he get in there? I don't know. We're not going to reuse that, Caleb. We're just going to... Yeah, I know, but I don't want to shake these into the hive. Okay, let maybe not. Okay, just leave that. Yeah, leave it there. They'll come off of that and put that one back on top. <coughs> I don't think he got me in the cheek. I think he just freaked me out, and I thought I got. Am I using this one? Or? Let's not use that one if that had the bugs in it. Use this other one. Okay, so now here, you, you can hold this and film for a minute. Ow. Where'd that sugar water go? It's right here. Can you hand that to me? Just, yeah, that's my, oh, that's dumping out. What's that? Has that got water in it? This? Or this? That. Yeah, this has got water in it. Alright, do that here and we'll put that in here. Make sure these guys are well hydrated. Okay, we'll leave this stuff out. These guys should be good, I hope. Whoop. What are, you, what are you filming? I'm trying to get this bee out from my hood. I'm filming you though. Alright. Move this here. Basically what we did was we did them splits last weekend on the 17th, that was Saturday. And uh, just a quick recap, got a phone call today saying it was supposed to get below freezing, we're supposed to have some kind of freeze warning. And these hives don't have queens yet, the ones that we did, the, 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 the hive here and the hive there only had three frames of bees in it. So we didn't have a lot of bees in it to where they could keep warm if it dropped down below freezing. So we came out here when my buddy called me and we stacked them all up in here together. So now hopefully the heat from all three supers we got sitting here will keep them warm, you know, during these cold days. Apparently up here in Northern Illinois, I got another beef crawling on my face. <laughs> but
but uh apparently doing splits on bees up around here in northern illinois southern wisconsin uh you don't want to do until mid-may something like that um so apparently we're mid-april it's too early it, because it can still drop down below freezing at night sometimes so we're gonna wait and we're gonna try to redo this in may i mean we're gonna come back out this weekend and check on them but i don't think we're gonna do any more trying to split them until may so that'll give us some time to fix some stuff we have out here um so we have more areas i'd like to get some things where you can set them up off the ground a little bit better um and go with that so um we're not gonna i'm not gonna post the 17th so today's the 19th i'm we're not gonna post that one on youtube because the sound was kind of bad on it and uh you couldn't really hear too much because we were trying to do so much and when you get down into these suppers or these brood hives it gets for us for other people it's no big deal but for us our bees hate us so when you bust into their brood hives where they keep their babies in a the queen they get really agitated and they come out and they want to sting us so today wasn't too bad i think because it's it's kind of cool out and the bees don't really want to fly so they're just kind of hanging out trying to stay warm um so I think we were pretty safe coming out here. See, look at them balling up right there trying to stay warm. I'll try to help them into the hive if I can. So, uh, I, I think that's about it. You got anything to add, Caleb? Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, this one I will be uploading to YouTube. So, keep an eye out for it. Share. Hit the like. Share it. Subscribe. All that jazz.